Police here in Farmington Hill say there has been a spike in tire thefts over the last week and a half, primarily here in the southwest section of the city. Different apartment complexes being hit, including Diamond Forest here on Halstead. Three apartment complexes in Farmington Hills targeted Diamond Forest, Green Hill, and the Polo Club. Police say eight cars have been hit, thieves striking in the middle of the night and going after tires. Looked over there and seen a car with, you know, block of a uh, rock they must pick up somewhere over here. You know, sometimes we have rocks. Rock here, rock here, rock here, rock here, and the car up on all, like, you know, fours and the tire is gone. Wendy Wisniewski lives at the Polo Club Apartments and says just yesterday she came outside to find her neighbor's car vandalized. Here's my car sitting right here. You know, there's my window and some people are doing that and that must took a long time because they're on big rocks, you know, and the car is lifted like, you know what I mean? It wasn't a one-person job. Here at the Green Hill Apartments, workers tell us the thieves used these pavers to hoist the car up, and they stole the tires and the wheels and discarded the pavers right here in the carport. <laughs> at Capital Tire, a tire wholesaler, longtime salesman Manuel Diaz says rubber and tire prices keep going up, and some consumers often want the cheapest they can find, even if the tires are stolen and they don't know the tire's history. It could be dangerous because the bead could be busted on it, um, the tread could be separated, they don't know it, they go down the road and it just finally gives out completely then. Um, and the reason why everybody's starting to use more used tires because they can't afford the new ones. Diaz says tire manufacturers seem to be raising prices on average about 10% every few months. Police say patrols have been stepped up and they're hoping people who are awake in the middle of the night, perhaps coming home from work or the bar, jot down license plates of suspicious cars that are in their neighborhood, most likely vans or SUVs that can haul tires. Back at Capital Tire, Diaz says today's economy means there's a bigger market for low-cost tires. The cheapest thing they can find, whether it's Chinese imports, American-made, whatever the cheapest is, that's what they want. <clears throat> no one wants the quality anymore. And at Capital Tire, these are the price alerts they've been getting this summer from the various tire manufacturers informing them of the price hikes month to month, and they say there will likely be another price hike come September 1st. Live in Farmington Hills, Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News.